Why do you look like a hot suburban mom? Dan has never betrayed me like this. I can sneak in hella snacks in here if I'm going to the movie theaters. Hi, how are you? How are things? I am so glad you finally took care of that rash we talked about because I was getting concerned. We have so much to do today. Last week was quite the week. Um, it was my birthday, Dan's birthday, Mother's Day, all in one week, and there was just a lot going on. Today, we are getting things done. I feel like because last week was so hectic, I was like trying to maintain positivity and trying to like get things done, but it's like, have you ever had one of those moments that turn into days, that turn into weeks, that can quite possibly turn into months, where like you try to get your shit together, but then the world, the universe, just forehead fingers you and you fall down every single time? Because I feel like that's what's been happening to me. It's like every time I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go do something, the universe is like, sit down, you know? That's just what's been happening. But today I'm like, listen, 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 listen. Mercury is no longer in retrograde. We are gonna get shit done. I put on a workout gear because I'm just like, you know what? I am not gonna be motivated if I am in my Target set pajamas for the third day in a row. It's just, it's not gonna happen. So I put on a workout gear, we're gonna get things done and hopefully this will inspire you to finally clean underneath your bed. We've talked about this. What are we doing? We deserve better. Self-love. Before we continue with today's chaotic video, I want to say a huge thank you to today's sponsor, Aura. Have you ever tried Googling yourself? Because I have. And while I thought the only thing that would pop up would be my obviously very entertaining YouTube videos, what I actually found was quite concerning. Besides finding unflattering old photos of myself, I found my personal data, such as my email, being shared without my permission. Once I signed up for Aura, I further discovered that my past Passwords were actually being shared and as someone who values their privacy I am so so very thankful for Aura. Aura can identify data brokers who are exposing your information and submit opt-out requests on your behalf which I absolutely love because I've tried doing it myself and I just can't keep up which is why I'm so very thankful for Aura. Brokers are legally required to remove your information if you ask them to but they make it super hard to do so which is why I let Aura handle it for me. It's scary to find that your personal information is being exposed but that's so popular now with all these data brokers who profit by selling your information to robocallers telemarketers spammers and just quite frankly anybody who wants to learn anything about you also as a mom i am super grateful for aura because as much as i love the internet there are some weird things out there aura has child identity protection features using the app you can set time focus restrict certain apps and you can even set time Time limits so that your kids aren't binging all day. You can customize what your kids can view online and even get alerted if Aura detects cyberbullying, predators, and toxic gaming behavior. So try Aura for free and immediately start removing your information online. So head over to Aura.com slash Miriam and everything, all the information and the links will be in the description box down below. Let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online so you can focus on other things and keep a peace of mind. Thank you Aura for sponsoring today's video and keeping my family and I safe online.
stuff, ordered a bunch of stuff from Zara. And because I don't know what my size is, just in general, because it varies at different stores, I've just been ordering the same thing in like different sizes. So now I have to organize these orders so that way when I go to the counter, it's not like a hassle for um, whoever's working there. I've been experimenting with my style lately and I'm trying to figure out what I love. You know, I'm going for like a modern, like hot mom look, but also like 90s supermodel, you know? Um, those are like very different like options, but I'm also realizing you can have so many different styles doesn't have to be one. So I'm trying a bunch of stuff and only like two of the tops that I got worked out. Mind you, I have bought six packages worth of things. Six or is it five? I can't count. I got this denim skirt and it's like, I have been in this mode where I don't like to fall into trends but I really like the whole maxi denim skirt thing. And I got the one from Zara. This is an extra small and um, it fit my butt but it didn't fit my waist. Like, like it's giving paper bag and I don't love it. That's the thing, I never wanna keep something I don't love. And it's like, look at this. I could sneak in hella snacks in here if I'm going to the movie theaters. Like they were not gonna search my fupa. I also got this top and like on the model, it looks amazing, it looks beautiful. And like I saw um, a woman on Instagram, she styled it a certain way that I loved, but when I tried it on, I did not love it. It's almost kind of like a bustier, and like it snatches you. I'm not gonna button it up, it's too much. But like I feel like while wearing it, I look like a sexy inspector gadget. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? It doesn't really suit me the way that I would have loved it to suit me. And again, I'm very much in the mode. If I don't love it, I'm not keeping it. I'm returning it. Um, just like, if you don't love that man, you need to let him go. Let him go. Let him know, and then let him go. I've just got done with the major things like eating this baby bottle, drying her laundry, and throwing in a load. I am now about to leave the house. I haven't really picked up so much around the house, but I kind of want to make use of like the time that I have right now because I can always pick up the house with Irina strapped on me and I have a very limited amount of time to be outside and get my errands done outside. So. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm about to leave and run errands with Aaron. Say that five times fast. Errands with Aaron, errands with Aaron, errands with Aaron. That was only three and I'm stopping there. Why do you look like a hot suburban mom?
I am back home. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm kind of exhausted, but I feel good because I finally completed my returns and I've been wanting to return them for weeks. I went to Target, cleared the aisle of poppy drinks. I don't know why I paused like that, but I got a whole bunch of like grape poppy because that's been my favorite. Orange has also been really great. And then I got Irina's baby food. And then I went to Ulta, but I only got like pads for like ingrown hairs for my bikini line. I feel like that's TMI. But also I feel like it's a normal, natural thing to happen. Um, you know when you accidentally overshare something and you try to justify it, even though it's normal and natural and you're kind of like slightly embarrassed, but like not embarrassed enough to not stop talking about it? That's me right now. Do I have a story time for you guys about these flowers? Like I said at the beginning of this video, Mother's Day, my birthday, and Dan's birthday literally fell in the same week. Like I was born May 10th, he was born May 12th, and Mother's Day was May 14th. So there was a lot going on, a lot of celebrating, just a lot. And Dan's work is in its busiest season I've ever seen it be. And there's just been a lot going on and we haven't really had time to celebrate as much as we've wanted to. Like we've gotten gifts out of the way, like I know what he wanted, he knew what I wanted. We're all good, we're squared away, right? So on the night of my birthday, Dan comes home and he's like, in addition to my gift, he was like, oh, I wanted, I wanted to buy you a big, big bucket of flowers. And I was like, a bucket and he was like a bouquet i was like oh you know that's so sweet because like lately right lately i've been getting into flowers before i was definitely the type to be like i don't need flowers i don't like flowers but like side note that's only because my ex would get me flowers every time he's done something bad and so it left a bad taste in my mouth and i feel like it was because i was also in my pick me era but now that i've been getting into flowers like i just like you know i love i love flowers i love the idea of dan getting me flowers it's a thought it's the appreciation that matters. So on the night of my birthday, he was like, yeah, like I really, I was gonna get you flowers in addition to your present. And I was like, you know what, it's cool. Like I understand things are busy now, like I get it. And it's a thought that counts. So the day before Mother's Day, the day before Mother's Day, this man comes in here with these bouquet of flowers. Close your eyes, close your eyes. And imagine Dan is your husband. Actually, first of all, open your eyes. This is your imagination, not real life, you nasty. Okay, close them again. Dan is your husband, right? He comes in, right? All sexy and sweaty from coaching, you know, cause he's a soccer coach. And he comes in with these flowers and he looks you deep into your eyes. His beautiful green eyes look deep into your brown eyes. And he goes, I bought my wife flowers because I love her so much. And I'm literally standing there like, oh my God, like, no, you didn't. Like, oh, like, leg up, like, oh, no, you didn't. Like, I'm literally like, oh my God, I can't believe this is happening to me. Like, Miss America, American Idol, tears, like, streaming down my face. Not really, but that's, those are the emotions I was giving. And like, this goes on for like, maybe 10 minutes. And then he tells me, he was like, Actually, it's from the soccer club that I coach. They got it for me for my birthday as a way to celebrate me. The devastation, the heartbreak that I felt in that moment. Dan has never betrayed me like this. I know when Dan's lying and he's not really good at it. And in that moment, I was too stunned to speak because like he really got me, he really had me. And he felt so bad. And honestly, at this point, I'm over it, but I'm gonna keep milking it for the guilt, you know?
There goes the man that broke all of our hearts. literally damn near half my height. It's the Serbian jeans. I don't know. I am going to attempt to get stuff done with her strapped on me, but like at this point, she is a lot more curious and a lot more handsy. And so I don't know how much I'm gonna get done, but we're gonna do what it does with what we have. to get a lot more done i popped my laundry in the dryer clean up the kitchen a little bit more organize under my bathroom sink which desperately needed to be organized but i got so much done i picked up around the living room i just got a lot of things done um i still have some stuff that i need to do but i can like sit down and do some work and it feels so good to just get a lot of the things that have been like weighing me down that I've been thinking about for weeks at a time. It feels so good to just get things done. And I feel a lot lighter. <laughs> going by. 